It's the holidays. Time to get outside in the sunshine, slip, slop, slap, and slide on some sunglasses. With so many brands to choose from, how much do we think about eye protection when buying a pair of sunnies? Protection didn't come into my thoughts when I was buying them because I just assumed that all of the sunglasses on sale in this shop would have fully adequate UV protection. I thought about UV protection, but I was more leaning towards the fashionable statement. <laughs> yeah, I know that's a, a question I hadn't really thought of before. They are quite dark, so hopefully I'm going to do something. You have certain price ranges where pay ten dollars you're gonna get ten dollars worth of UV. Here in Australia we need to be a lot more careful when it comes to ultraviolet radiation exposure from the Sun. Not only are we closer to the equator than you'd think but in January the intensity of UVRs here is seven percent higher because the Earth is always closer to the Sun. Add a depleted ozone layer in the southern hemisphere and we have more than enough solar UVR to cause significant public health problems. There are three main things that ultraviolet can do to the eyes and its surroundings. Firstly, the skin of the lids and around the eyes is thinner than the rest of the body, so it's more susceptible to the skin cancers. Secondly, there's a condition called pterygium, which is a growth on the white of the eye by the side of the nose. And this can be irritating and it can also grow across the pupil and affect vision. And thirdly, ultraviolet is related to the development of cataract. Window cleaner Murray Opat developed pterygium when he was a teenager. I was about 15 or 16, just used to go to the beach a lot, a lot of outdoor activities. Uh, and, you know, I just had a slight irritation in the eye and went to the optometrist and they diagnosed that I had a small growth and, you know, it's just kept on growing ever since because I didn't wear sunglasses for about three or four years after his advice. And, yeah, unfortunately it's uh, kept on growing, so that's the way I found out, not wearing sunglasses. The first thing to look for when you're buying sunglasses is the label which must come with the sunglass. It will give you a category number and an explanation of the category and that's required by the Australian standard. The price of a sunglass is not relevant to the protection that you get. The categories on a sunglass label range from zero to four. Category zero are lenses which have no tint but they have some ultraviolet protection, down to category four, which is the very darkest and the very highest ultraviolet protection. Most sunglasses are in the range of category two to category three. The ultraviolet from the sun reaches the eye, not just directly from the sun, but also reflected from the environment, let's say the sand on the beach, so that protection to the side, given by wide sides or by wraparound sunglasses, is particularly valuable. Wear full wraparound sunglasses all the time. Whenever you're out, and, and a hat even, would be very important. So, but primarily just sunglasses, just to stop all of that glare and UV coming in. That's probably the main advice I'd give the people. So this summer, remember to wear the right sunnies and try to avoid the sun between the hours of 11 and 3 when the UV dose is at its greatest.